joined by Lassie here on the mic. And how are you doing, everyone? Did you see that wonderful display of doubles? I thought the I thought the CPU came back for a little bit there, but he did. He uh. Isn't he that, had a showing. Dude, hang on, isn't that great? I saw that. <laughs> so. Wendy's, Wendy's is best player. Let's look at what we got on the screen right now. Hero is a player that I'm not particularly familiar with, but we'd seen earlier was practicing Pikachu. I do know. Yeah, he does play Pikachu. I believe that is his main. All right. Now, is this a player from the city, or? Pikachu! All right, we do have confirmation. This is one of the city's uh, Pikachu. He's a city boy. So, let's see how he fares up against the hybrid New York, Florida demon that is Utopian Ray as we move right into the winner's bracket for all or nothing Smash 4 team. And right off the bat, we're going to Smashville, and we're almost one less Luma off, but not that quick. Yeah. I like that hero is trying to stay mobile, trying to keep active hitboxes constantly. That way, Ray doesn't have an opportunity to build up any type of stage pressure with Luma or start to move in to take advantage of the disjoints that Pikachu presents in a lot of his offensive play. Ray now making use of gravitational pull so that he doesn't have to deal with the Thunder Jolt pressure from Hero, but yeah. it's going to be a very slow moving match if this is how Ray yeah. opts to play it out. Especially if. If all heroes are going to be just zipping around, you know, slowly poking at, poking at Ray, slowly getting him more to kill percent. And there we go. The first Luma is dead. Luma is kill. But, uh, here we go. We might see a little bit more offensive play from Hero now that that major. <coughs> Luma is back. And it's going to be a very slow uh, match as yeah. Ray opts to play this passively. And... I can agree with it. As they both go, you know, touch for touch throughout this match, Ray's going to uh, benefit from trades at higher percentages, where you could just do that. Just yeah, basic just... follows like that. And now that he's sitting with a little bit of rage, Hero's going to have to work a lot harder to fight off this Rosalina because yeah. every trade is going to be that much more dangerous. Plus, now that Ray has that stock lead, he can be a little bit more aggressive. Very interesting skull bash movement from Hero, but uh, I gotta take this. <laughs> and returning to the match, we have uh, much of nothing. It's a lot of the same with Utopian Ray just being able to go blow for blow against Hero and taking it off stage for game one. I'm going to switch seats for a moment. Survival. And here we are, allergies and all, as we return to game two of Battlefield. Now, I like this uh, option because it gives a lot of room for Hero to be able to maneuver and a lot more survivability. However, the platforms are going to present a lot more combo opportunity for Ray. So whatever type of advantage position he sits in is going to net him far more reward than if we saw uh, either less platforms or more space between them. But hopefully the counter pick works out for him. No one getting Lich Trump there and a quick down smash just so Hero doesn't have an opportunity to be able to gain anything off of Ray right now. Ray's just being able to bully him and already get an early stock off with only 17% racked up on him. This is looking like it's going to be a quick 20 and a handshake at this rate. <laughs> Huge shield pressure coming through right there. And Hero finally returning uh, some percentage with Fair, but it might be too little too late as there's already a lot of percentage. That is true. Um, how does the Pikachu Rosa matchup usually end up faring beyond just player matchups? Typically speaking, it's Pikachu having to do a lot of work to get around Luma and just watching out for once Rage is built up. And we've seen that throughout this matchup that as soon as Rage becomes a factor in favor of Utopian Ray, Hero has much steeper of a mountain to climb. 
And even as Hero has already struggled throughout this matchup against Ray, Ooh, it's just becoming more and more through. formidable. Absolutely. But using quick attack cancels just to try and rush in and get decent percentage is a solid game plan, but it just down for Hero. And with the returning fair, a Thunder in neutral is really not going to be able to do much for him. Oh, absolutely. That's true. Hero needs to find some way to take out the stock. Especially, well, especially while he had Rosa vulnerable. Good shield, though, to protect himself from the Luma. But, not just yet. Very smart forward smash to remove Luma, and while it didn't result in the stock taken, things are getting very dicey for Hero out here as he sits at 120%. While most characters would have this as a very regular danger zone, where they would be able to use a lot of that rage. Pikachu really doesn't have much that he can rage with. It's not even just that, it's just that he's a light character, so that any relatively threatening hit can really send him flying, like that last hit Just like that did. jab. And just like that, Hero's going to be sent promptly into the loser's bracket, and we'll be seeing Utopian Ray later on in the evening. Looking fairly fit to form.